Sitting 11th and 12th on the NRL ladder, it's hard to separate these two sides. With plenty still to play for, a big win for South could see them back in touch with the top eight. The Sharks need a win to keep their season alive. And with a few seconds off the clock, it looked like a dream start for the home side. And have you ever seen a more remarkable start to a game of rugby league? He's gone into touch. The touch judge on the far side, Steve Carroll, has put the flag in the air to say no try. John Sutton's come up with the first tackle of the game, which has saved his team a try. Some good field position gave Cronulla their next opportunity. Some razzle-dazzle by the backs. Ross is waiting there, the offload from Townsend. Back to Douglas. Douglas goes forward, gives it back to Morris. Morris dummies to Townsend, finds Bakuya. Bakuya turns and is tackled a couple of metres away from the line. But it was a front rower who took charge. Now straight through Douglas. It wasn't good on that occasion. And the Sharkies are in. Luke Douglas with the try. They were at it again just five minutes later. This simple play from the base of the scrum. Best is almost there. He is there. Try number 99 for Colin Best. And that is woeful defence from South Sydney. There were no signs of the strong defence that won the Bunnies the match last week against the Broncos. That is inside. Reaches out and scores the try. Townsend with his first try in first grade. Things going from bad to worse for the Bunnies. Tupo with some brilliance just before half time. The blue and white dominating the opening 40. 20 points down, the Bunnies had to be the first to score. And finally, with some good field position, they were in with a chance. What looked to be a mistake from Gardner led to this. Just in front of Gardner, he didn't get a hand to it. Says Steve Tedra lines. Sando and Merritt run into each other. He's away from Farrell. Here comes the cover. He's away from the cover. Still going. And Pete sprees in the ground. Whilst it didn't result in any points, it put the spark back in the Sharks' attack. And they were all over the place now, the rabbit and his defenders. As Pomeroy squeezes it. They were never on side. Oh, it wasn't a good option there, Ben Pomeroy, but you're lucky with that. The pressure all too much for the Rabbits. An offside call giving the boys in blue a shot at two. Never looked like missing that one. The Sharks looking for their first win without Gallon in six matches. Wright made sure he sealed the deal. Some great things. This crowd has been great as usual. And Matthew Wright puts the exclamation mark at the end of the Cronulla win. The Sharkies have won three in a row for the first time since 2009. Celebration time in the Shire. Cronulla keeping their finals hopes alive with a 26-4 win over the Bunnies. Hayley Mackay, Big Pond Sport.